So we're just starting to put the rest of the posts. They're going 10 feet in the air and they're treated on the bottom. And then we're just going with some lumber we had cut out of some trees for the top part. They're just rough sawing two by sixes. And then we screw them together by with three inch screws. And then we'll put a board across the top of everything before we start putting our trusses on, but a whole bunch more to do. We are adding additions to the post for our new barn. All right, so we got one side of the post done for the shed. And you can see that the tree is on the bottom and we laminated two by sixes on the top and we're just starting on the other side. So there's about 60 posts all together, three boards each. So the boards are boards that we have the Amish saw out of some pine trees we had in the yard that were leaning towards the house. They are uh, rough sawn two by sixes and uh, the trees were leaning towards the house so we had them cut out and we had them saw the boards and they uh, charged us like 300 bucks for I think there were like 700 of them or something the trees were about 110 feet tall so anyway those they, there they are they've been sitting for about three years the boards have been drying out I'll show you where they're stored at inside an old barn here. 
So the boards are stored in an old horse barn, and because they were just cut out of logs, I didn't have the Amish cut the end for us. So none of them were square, so we have to, every board, we have to run through a radial arm saw here, and we cut the ends off to make sure everything's square on the boards. And we got, we're almost, we got, we had two piles of these boards. And we ran boards in between, little stickers we call them, that go between the boards. So that way air could get in between them to dry them out. So these are the boards we're using to build our shed. So it's kind of a cool moment. We're taking down, we took down a couple trees that were problems, had them cut into boards, and now we're getting something useful out of them by putting up a new freestyle barn. So. Anyway, it's kind of a typical project for us. I do most of the work myself, so it's taken quite a bit of time here. We milk cows in the morning and mix feed and clean out the barns and feed heifers and that sort of thing, and that takes quite a bit of time, especially during the winter. And so I just kind of work on it when I can. Luckily, we've had some nice weather recently, so I've been able to get three or four hours of work in on the shed every day, or on the freestyle barn every day. So we're hoping to get some gravel out this week or some lime screenings out this week to get a base down and they're calling for rain on Saturday so it would be nice to get that stuff done before, before the rain comes so we have a good base to work with. It's going to be too cold to pour cement this before spring so we'll just get some gravel down at least so we can use the building. <laughs> 